Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm talking about impact and you never purposely trying to hit down on the golf ball. So there's some people out there that are trying to do that and you know, hitting down on the ball, that is going to happen due to the right fundamentals in your swing. So once you watch this tip, you'll get a better understanding of why the club hits down. So then you'll realize you don't have to purposely do that into the future. All right, hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up. Click on the red button to subscribe to my channel. Then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. So one of the big things I see people do when they come out to the range here is they keep trying to hit down on the golf ball. They see that pros do that. Their friends are telling them to do that. So what do they do? They come out to the range and they try to hit down. <laughs> I am here to tell you <laughs> to never, ever purposely hit down on the ball. So if you try to do that, you are activating your arms. So you're up here, you're gonna think hit down. You might lower too much. You will lock up your wrists. You will contract your lead arm. You might jam it into the ground. You might hit it with the face open. All sorts of things, because you are trying to hit down on that golf ball, purposely. So when pros hit the golf ball, we hit down on the ball. But we hit down on the ball due to having the right fundamentals in our golf swing. We're not trying to physically hit down on it. All right, so what you wanna do is understand why does the club hit down on a golf ball? And why that's so important? Well, it's important because if the club's hitting down, you are de-lofting your golf club. That's gonna get that nice compression on the golf ball. It's gonna get you to hit those nice pro solid, pure shots, pure irons. Okay, so we do want to hit down, but we're doing it because we are, we, because we're doing the right fundamentals, not because we're trying to hit down. So here's how to think of this. Let's say I have my feet together. Okay, if I have my feet together, I have one axis in my golf swing. If my arms are stretched out and the club is at ground level and I go to hit this ball right here, I'll make a circle and I will not take a divot with that golf club. That's because I have one axis. I've predetermined the golf club is at ground level. See, it doesn't enter the ground right here. Okay, doesn't go into the ground with my feet together. But when we hit a golf ball, we don't hit the ball with our feet together. We hit the ball with our feet spread apart. As soon as I do that, I have two axes in my golf swing. I have an axis over here, head, body, back, leg. I'm gonna hit the ball. Then I have an axis over here, head, body, forward leg. All right, this is why I don't like swings that go like this, kind of sideways, sideways. Okay, we're building an axis over here. We're gonna stay back here as we hit the ball and then we build an axis over here. It is this fact that our feet are spread apart that gives us the two axes in our swing which causes our body to tilt when we hit the ball as soon as we tilt like that and we're moving between two axes our golf swing becomes an oval you may have seen pictures or videos where they trace the outside of a golf club and every single time it makes an oval it never makes a perfect circle so if you have an oval like this and you tilt, this side of the oval will be descending. So that's why the club hits down. We're not making a perfect circle. So if I'm here and I tilt, my golf club is descending because it's going in that side of the oval. Okay, and the oval is relative to your spine tilt. 
if you tilt your spine, the oval matches here on both sides because it's tilted. All right, so that is why we get the descending blow. Now you obviously have to couple that with extension of your lead arm because if you buckle your lead arm, you're gonna pull the club off the ground doing what's known as a chicken wing. You do a chicken wing, you're still not gonna enter the ground. If you stand up, it's not gonna enter the ground. Okay, so we won't be hitting down on it there either. So we wanna try and get this tilt in our body. So if you wanna check your swing, just have someone video your swing right here. Okay, you look at pros, we are all tilted. Our spine is tilted when we hit the ball. You're not gonna find a pro that's vertical. You're not certainly not gonna find a pro that's leaning forward when they hit the ball with their spine. Okay, every pro has their spine tilted more than it was at address. We started on a slight tilt. We have more of a tilt when we hit the ball. Okay, so that creates the descending blow. So that's what we've gotta get in our swing. So what I want you to do is try and tilt or get this tilt as you hit the ball okay so we're not going to be hitting down on anything anymore we're going to loosen up our arms hinging and rehinging then i want you to just kind of get the sensation maybe you tee it up like this make it a little easier okay so tee it up now just kind of think of your spine, okay? Now when you come down, I want you to feel like it's tilting like that when you hit the ball, okay? So right here, we're gonna go into our back and just do it slow. Maybe you start like this, okay? Go slow, go to the top, and then just think, okay, I'm gonna tilt when I hit the ball, okay? Just kind of get that sensation of being back here as you hit the ball instead of over here when you're hitting the ball, leaning forward or too vertical. Just start off like that. Yes, you might be hanging back a little bit. That's okay, let's just get the tilt for right now. Okay, because if pros are tilted and you're not tilted, you wanna do what a pro's doing. Okay, so you, you do that, kind of get that sense, oh, I'm gonna be tilted back here. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna move over here, creating the second axis in my swing. All right, so you kind of take it in steps. This is what I call manually tilting as you hit the ball. See, pros are getting the tilt because we're firing the lower body. If I fire my body, my upper body goes back, which creates the tilt. But you haven't been doing this for, you know, 10, 20, 30 years of using your legs and hips like we have. So you gotta manually do it. So you get the tilt first and Keep in mind, you might hit the ground behind the ball. That's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, just get the tilt. Okay, maybe do easy ones. Think that you're hitting the ball like that. Watch yourself in a mirror, video your swing. Whatever it takes to get the tilt. Okay, get the tilt, hit the ball, then let your head go here so you're in a vertical position over your forward leg. So right here, as I go back, I'm coiling I'm allowing my head to move a little bit so that I can load the weight over here. Now I'm gonna get this tilt when I hit the ball. Okay, tilt, then I go vertical on this side. Okay, a little tricky, a little bit more advanced, but you know, you gotta kinda do some of the things pros are doing if you wanna take your swing to another level. If you're just up here thinking, I'm gonna hit down on it, you know, You've probably been doing that for a while now, right? It, it, trying to hit down. So how's it working for you, you know? I guarantee you it's not working too well. You might get on a roll where you hit a couple good shots, but then you lose it. Because hitting with your arms is not how to do this. If you watch pros, we are using our legs and hips to hit that golf ball, okay? Our arms are just following. Wrists are loose, which creates a hinge and a rehinge. We're gonna get the speed because our wrists are loose. We're not sitting here trying to, you know, hit down on it, okay? That just happens because we're using our body properly. All right, so hopefully you understand a little bit about it. I just, 
you know, I see so many people doing it out here. And I, I'm just shaking my head going like, you will never get this if you keep doing that. You know, so if the person will never get it, <laughs> you know, it's up to me <laughs> to try to explain it in a way that you understand why that will not work. So hopefully now you kind of understand it. Stop trying to hit down. I'm telling you, you start moving your body properly, turn your arms off, you'll make perfect content, you'll get the descending blow, you get the nice compressed sound, and you hit the ball so much longer than you could have ever imagined. And it feels effortless, feels like nothing. It would never hurt your body. You know, you'd be playing golf pain free. All right, so hopefully you start working on staying behind the ball and stop hitting down on it. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.